Okay, Lani, uh, this is my uh, second video um, because uh, the other video, you know, uh, my video recording, it, it's called a parameter of uh, 10, min uh, 10 uh, minutes of recording. So I went over 10 minutes. So now uh, I was just about to finish this. So now um, let's just go to the design now. Okay, so now there we are. Okay, so basically our... Uh, you know the design is another most important thing because we're not gonna be you know building straight corner to corner forming 90 degree angles because this is the law first time uh so you know the, the route you know the uh, we are gonna try to follow the bank but at the moment at the same time we are gonna be sort of you know trying to uh you know design some caves you know uh you know because you know if you look at the, the shape of the bank it's not like we are gonna be following the shape of the bank but we are gonna be uh needing to cave because uh the most important thing about caving the retaining wall is uh what it basically means is the lateral pressure behind the wall the lateral pressure if the wall has caves it means um the pressure is actually sort of been reduced because it's not like uh, distributed evenly uh, on the wall so it means uh, that makes it very strong I don't know where, where, where is this car going on? Yeah, okay. So what it means now, you see, uh, the war is not going to be experiencing a heavy uh, uh, pressure behind it because in certain sections of it, it's caving. All right, so that's actually sort of reducing the amount of pressure behind the wall. Uh, although reducing the pressure that the wall has to uh, hold uh, behind it. Okay, so now um, on this side here now, that's where uh, we are going to have, uh, there is already an existing steps already. So but so what you're going to do is uh, this other wall that, or, that is going to be on the other side. Né? This is where it's going to be, uh, it's also going to be going up a certain angle because it's, it's, we are trying to follow the, uh, the, 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 the steepness of the, the slope. So... Um, I was trying to sort of you know measure the, the this was the 90 meter if you can remember very well but basically you know um the main emphasis is the design so this is how it's gonna probably look like you know we are gonna sort of retain all this retain all this and then we're gonna cave up all the way to the corner right uh to that corner then uh, next to the neighbor's boundary all right and then this one here the 47 meter is gonna also stretch all the way and also we are gonna be then caving in uh, all right it's so between these two walls this that's where we're gonna uh, that's where the steps are and then if you want to uh, broaden any or if you want to widen up the steps uh, that is gonna be entirely up to you uh, but uh, because you've already already have some steps so I was just designing this so we can see how it's gonna look like you know uh, uh, this is where these two walls are gonna sort of meet I mean uh, this, is, this is where this longest wall is gonna end on this cave here and then uh, this other wall is gonna start from here and then it's gonna cave up right so basically you know uh that's what i was trying to ex explain and also this side on the 17 meter side you know we are gonna be going up at a certain angle as well because uh it, it's actually on a slope that is going down at a certain uh level at a, at a certain angle so let me just try to speed it uh, okay let me bring it closer all right i'm sure you can see clear now uh, that you know uh, this is only for design. I know, you know, of course the wall goes up at a certain angle, but uh, this is just to show you that, you know, th this is probably how the property uh, is going to look like after we've successfully built up this uh, dry sector retaining wall or a segment of retaining wall or uh, Lofostein, uh, you know, uh, another terminology, another concept for the wall, right? So, you know, uh, it's actually, um, you know, make you actually sort of be a, see how it's gonna uh, uh, the whole uh property i mean the outside the wall is gonna actually shape this uh uh the property uh the outside part of it okay so what i'm trying to show is uh yeah you know it's just um it's quite long okay yeah this is uh more like uh, the other corner uh, that's why i wanted to show you this other corner this 17 meter uh long but anyway, I think uh, it's it actually, um, you can see that it's going up at an angle. That's what I wanted to emphasize. So now, basically, the, the reason it's like this now, because we are going to be starting at the lowest point, right? So then uh, with the level, it's going to actually sort of, we're going to step it up to go with the gradient 
and then how um yeah so it's actually more like the middle is actually the way the deepest point is and then on the side the the, the slopes we're gonna go up uh you know at a triangular shape the uh, same applies on this side as well going up at a, uh, at a triangular shape so yeah i think uh, that's what i wanted to you know uh, to emphasize on uh, on this uh, design okay yeah uh, you know so basically what you can see here, it's more like how the property is gonna look like after we've actually built these walls should you uh, then uh, make up your mind that you know it's okay let's go again with the low force time um because you know oh uh, yeah i've just remembered that you know designing all this with the gabions you know it's not gonna be easy i mean it's gonna be easy but you know in terms of the cosmetic part of it or looking good because now um gabions are not easy to make to make them bend or, or to make them curve it's possible but uh you know it then actually the result in taking so much amount of time you know in trying to design something that is going to be appealing to the eyes uh so you know for then it's flexible you know you can just uh, build it the way you you know you wish uh so okay yeah and then uh what i wanted to also emphasize is it um if you say uh, you're gonna do it at a certain time in moment we are heading towards the rain season so now you see this is probably for instance that uh, you've, let's say this is the existing or the current uh, steepness, right? And then uh, as erosion occurs now, you see what is, what is gonna happen is, is, is the soil is gonna get washed out, washed down by you know, uh, by rains, right? So it's gonna be then actually sort of, uh, sort of uh, becoming shorter. It's not gonna be as steep, so it's gonna be shorter, and then. It means all the, the most of the soil is gonna get washed down, and um, then it means we're gonna require more sand, or we're gonna it will take time to actually sort of uh, you know put it, you know uh, push it back. I mean to sort of you know dig it back, and uh, uh, when it, during the, the when we actually sort of uh, digging the, the the foundation, so it's more like um, hold on. more like we, when we're doing the foundation after the erosion it's like uh, we're gonna have to dig all this out because the sand is gonna actually sort of pass the zone that we're gonna locate the trench yeah, because of erosion so this is what you're gonna have to do there's gonna be a lot of sand to actually take out and uh, you know to build up the space for the trench okay Lani uh, that's what I wanted to say um, so I'm sure you've seen all the, um, you know, uh, my drawings. Uh, so if you, you know, uh, I know it sometimes it can be uh, time is not going to be, uh, it's time can be also be uh, scarcity, you know, but uh, what I'm trying to emphasize is please watch these uh, videos time and again, just to get a full picture because the project is quite huge. Uh, it's actually a civil engineering project and uh, it shouldn't be uh, just, you know, yes, there's a lot of things that you need to take in consideration. That's why, to me, I always uh, been actually trying to. I think more a lot about it. That's why I end up, you know, uh, again doing some more drawings. So, all right, I think uh, that's it for now. All right, thanks so much, Lani. So I'll hear from you, and uh, okay, that's it. Thanks so much.